In this video, I'll show you how to sew kids long sleeve. When you cut out the pattern, you should have one back piece, front piece, sleeve, cuff and neck band. You need to cut out one back piece, unfold, one front piece, unfold as well, two mirrored sleeves. one neck band and two cuffs. Don't forget to transfer all pattern marks onto the fabric. Prepare the cuffs and neck band. Fold each piece right sides together, aligning the short edges. Pin based if needed and do a straight stitch 1 cm from the edge. Do back stitching at the beginning and end of the seam. Press the seams flat, then press the seam open. Mark the center and trim the seam allowances on one half of the seam. 5 millimeters, leaving 5 or 4 millimeters. Place front and back pieces right side to right side, aligning the shoulder edges. Pin in place and sew on the serger.
since I work with stretchy fabric, I change differential dial set to 1.5. The default is 1 in my case and I change it to 1.5. This will help me to avoid um, getting any wavy edge and my fabric won't get stretched by Sergio. Now press the seam flat and then press the seam allowance towards the front. Next, we need to attach sleeves. Place the sleeve piece and the open arm side, right side to right side. Match sleeve head mark with the shoulder seam. like this. Pin in place and align edges. And pin. Now do a four thread stitch on the searcher. When you sew in sleeves, always have your sleeve facing up.
here that um, everything looks right and press the seam flat and then press the seam towards the bodies don't press too hard as this can cause seam allowance being visible on the right side as well as seams may get stretched out of shape Next, we saw sides, align edges of front and back parts and pin in place. I start with sleeve seams, making sure they match. So with the four threads you're just stitch, front piece facing up. Unfortunately, this part was not recorded, but it's quite straightforward. After you sewed the sides, press seams flat, then press seams allowances towards the back. the back place the folded neck band and the bodies right sides together I'm just trimming off stretched fabric. Right sides together, matching marks and secure with pins. Try to ease the neckline evenly around the neckband.
with the neck band facing up, so on the surgery. Don't stretch main fabric, stretch only ribbon, the neck band. Otherwise your neckline will be wavy and won't look nice. When I reach the beginning of my seam, I disengage surgeon knife and continue surgeon over the seam by approximately one centimeter. Then I lift the foot, pull the garment a little bit and then down the foot and continue surgeon until I have a long tail. You can hide the threads in seams using big eye needle. Just pull it through and cut. Press the seam flat and then press the seam towards the bodies.
next, fold the hem towards the wrong side of the bodice and press. I'm folding by 2 cm, which is a hem seam allowance. You can mark the hem line to make it easier to fold evenly. Then pin and baste. After that, sew on cover stitch machine. If you don't have it, you can use a twin needle or a zigzag stitch. Now I am attach cuffs, fold cuff piece in half, aligning the top edges. Then I find the center line on my cuff and sleeve. Then place the cuff and the sleeve right sides together. I use water-soluble fabric glue just to make it easy for me to keep it in place. Pin it, align the edges and ease the sleeve around the cuff evenly. Now, with the cuff facing up, search stretching the cuff edges. Don't stretch the main fabric, only ribbon. Check that everything is fine and hide the thread between fabric layers using big eye needle. Repeat the same to the other sleeve and then Press the seams towards the sleeve. After that, you can um, give your garment the final press and your long sleeve is ready.